recruited me here, and he's a good coach, and I, I like playing for these, these coaches, and uh, you know, we'll just you know, get to these next few days and get back and uh, relax and get up our feet and then uh, you know, get back at it. Would it be disappointing if you won? I mean, what would your feelings be? Um, <laughs> probably surprised, but uh, I, don't know, I don't know why. But, uh, uh, it'd, be, it'd be an interesting case, you know, to be you know, commit to one coach and have that one coach and have another coach, and then, uh, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I have no idea what's, what's going on, and, uh, and I'll, I'll just see what happens. Has he, did he address it at all? No, he just he just said he, he just, you know, probably he fought back, and uh, as I said, you know, he didn't say too much, but he said, you know, the first two couple years, you know, he came here, he was players and thought we you know, fought hard, which is good for this young team, and uh, I thought. That played a great game today. Was knocking on shots, and uh, everybody's playing hard there, which is good to see. How do you feel about the future of this team? I think we have a good, pretty strong core. You know, we, uh, we get along, we play hard together. It seems like, and uh, it's just we're so young. You know, we're learning on the run. We have young point guard, young guards, and uh, everybody's you know, sophomore and freshman besides Jared and Wink. And uh, we just gotta keep working hard together and stay together and, uh, and keep moving forward. Miss the, miss the <laughs> have, uh, I guess just what have you heard about this I, stuff? Nothing today? No, nothing today, obviously. But uh, no, just you hear rumors, you know, the city is obviously, <laughs> you know, you hear stuff all the time, but you no, don't know anything for sure. You just, uh, I thought the guys, you know, competed hard today and went out and uh, gave them gave them a best shot. I, you know, I'd heard people say that you guys had quit. On coach, you know, with the last two road games and things like that, I, I thought you guys m probably proved today that. Uh, yeah, you uh, you definitely hope not. You know, they, they asked me that after the Minnesota game, and uh, I didn't think that was the type of you know team we had or the type of players we were. But uh, I think it was a rough beginning of the game. But I thought you guys fought back and we were right back in the game. You know, near the end of the game, we had a chance to you know, push an overtime or win the game, and uh, so I don't I don't think that was the case at all. But, you know, one of the the. Casey JJ was reporting that it was pl a player or two that went to to Gary Barton to, to ask for Coach Licklider to be removed. Um, have you heard anything to that effect? No. Uh, he he met with a uh, individually, and we just just asked, you know, what uh, you know, just our thoughts. You know, he said it was just you know everything something we do every he does every year, and he meets with the players. And I think he just felt, felt like that was the best time, as you know, everybody probably. Tough to get everybody back together after the season, and uh, no, he was just wondering, you know, what, what we did to improve things around the arena and everything, and get the get our mentality back and avoid people from leaving. So he just, you know, he was pretty straightforward and met with all of us. Had you met with him before? Did you guys meet with him last year like this, or was yeah. that something? Yeah, I think it, yeah, it's just something he, he always does with his his, uh, his teams, you know, in the, in the university. Okay, thanks, Matt.